What's going on everyone? My name is Alpha and today we're back with another Pokemon challenge on Pokemon Radical Red and we're on a new update. We're on version 2.2 and this update has a lot of features that we'll be covering throughout this video and today's challenge however will be can I be Pokemon Radical Red using I don't know what's going on here. This is the extreme randomizer randomized monotype <laughs> so everything's randomized of course the pokemon learn sets are randomized which means entirely the pokemon moveset is completely randomized as well their ability is randomized and here is when we're going to roll for what monotype we're going to have and we actually end up having electric which in theory sounds fun but this completely uh disregards any legendary so we can't get any legendaries at all and we put on a special settings that uh, doesn't allow us to get better Pokemon. So it's going to be really fun. <laughs> I guess. Anyways, we're going to have to start off the game resetting and resetting, of course, until we have a starter that's an electric type. As you can see in the following back, while this is going on, I want to talk about the rules. The rules, of course, I got to use only electric type Pokemon. They could be dual typing, so they could be rock and electric. But they got to be electric at the very minimum. And I can't use any items in battle. Not like Radical Red would let me anyways. And of course, the final and most important rule. Each Pokemon must be nicknamed after you guys in the comments. So, here are the nicknames I picked for this video. Thank you so much for leaving a comment in the previous challenge video. It greatly means a lot to me. And if you guys want to be nicknamed after a Pokemon in my challenge video, just drop it in the comments and hopefully I'll pick yours. Anyways, while you guys are down there, uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, some challenge ideas just like this one, and subscribe if you're not already. We're very, very close to 20k, I want to say that. Very, very close. Almost another 10k in a year. So thank you so much for that. Anyways, let's get into the challenge itself. So to be enough, our starter for this run will be, unfortunately, fortunately, unfortunately, will be a Lolan Golem. So I don't know how I feel about that. At least we're starting off with a fully evolved Pokemon. So his stats will be enormously strong. So that is great for us to begin with. Uh, the whole randomizer feeling of this is my first time playing through Radical Red with a full randomizer thing. And I decided to do every single randomizer I could. I just turned on every single setting and I said go. So uh, of course we're going to beat our rival to begin with. And then obviously we're going to get afraid. So we're going to train up a little more in Route 1, 2, and 3. Of course. And then we're going to head into Viridian Forest where uh, the battle with Brendan is actually closer at the beginning of the forest, which is interesting. And then from there, once we are done with the forest, we get some nice training that we're going to face against Faulkner. Faulkner is going to destroy us, as you can see. Most of his Pokemon destroy my Alolan Golem, so I decided to go into the fields and catch a new Pokemon. I'm not going to catch more Golems because I feel like that's a bit cheap and kind of boring. So I decided to catch myself a Plusso, which is going to be nice to have on my team. Plusso is obviously an electric type, but it's one of the ripoffs of Pikachu. And of course, it's going to be on my team. With the new learn sets, hopefully it could be more useful in the future. Uh, as well, we're going to head into the forest and catch ourselves a Helioptile, which is going to be nice. Helioptile is it's up there in one of my favorite Pokemon for some reason. It's not that great, but it's actually kind of one of my favorite Pokemon. Well, it's Evolutionist. Uh, Helioptile, I don't really... I don't really know anything about, but we're going to face against Faulkner once again, of course, and we're actually going to flinch him down with Ice Cold Crash and eventually knock him out, and then we actually live an attack against him. So Golem actually lives an attack against him, and then we beat down the Corvus Squire. So Alolan Golem wins again, and we're going to face against Brock, and Brock is going to beat us down, uh, as you can see so many times. The only time we can get through is actually flinching down the Geodude and then making him force out into his ball picks so we could Ice Cold Crash continuously Ice Cold Crash him. Uh, and then eventually we're going to knock out both the Geodude and the Vulpix and when the Onyx comes out we do some chip damage with the Plusso and look at this string of luck we get like four Icicle Crashes flinches in a row and we beat Brock and we're just going to take that and we're going to run away with that because <laughs> we can't beat Brock any other way because that took 25 minutes just to beat Brock anyways we're going to get the TM for Rock Tomb right after beating Brock and of course we're going to put that on a Golem uh, Helioptile can learn it too so why not uh, it can lower speed so it can be very useful as a utility move and we're going to search out the routes to get a new electric types. Do not get anything. I go senile and I decide to catch this Gogo. <laughs> I'm attempting to catch this Gogo and then I realize, wait a second, he's not an electric type. What am I doing? <laughs> I, I was so confused when I was doing this. I was like, wait a second, he's not an electric type at all. Well, who? <laughs> I, I don't know why I got so confused on this Gogo. Anyways, Gogo's underrated. I really like Gogo, but anyways, we're going to clear through Mount Moon, obviously, and then catch yourself a Pikachu in Cerulean City. That is going to be a nice, nice Pokemon going forward. And head into the gym against Misty, where we get body multiple times by 
every single member of her team so we're not ready for the gym just yet especially since we're so low level so we're gonna clear through nugget bridge of course and head into bill's house and then return at level 27 and then still not be good enough so we're gonna head into vermilion city and there's a move tutor down here that will let us teach our pokemon thunder punch and that's gonna be a great move to face off against misty with Thunder Punch is uh, an electric move, of course, so it's going to have stab on all my Pokemon that can learn it. So we're going to face off against Misty once again. We're going to start off by giving all our five Pokemon Citrus Berry. We also catch an Alolan Raichu. Unfortunately, in this game, Alolan Raichus have Truant as an ability. That could have been really nice having a normal Raichu and an Alolan Raichu, but unfortunately, this thing has Truant, so I can't really use it too well. We're going to start off the battle using our Helioptile, which has low sweep. We can lower the speed Frogadier in front of us and then switch out into our Plusso, which will zigzag flinch the Frogadier and then knock it out in the following turn. And then he's going to send his Float Zone next. I'm going to send in my Raichu next, let it get sacked, obviously, and then, then send in my Golem in front of the Starmie. I'm going to Rock to which I lower its speed. And once that's done, I'm able to send in my Plusso. He's actually going to survive a Zigzag, which is surprising, but he does get flinched. And he's actually going to return himself into a Float so I do a Zigzag, some more damage, and then I stay in with my Plusso. Unfortunately, Starmie actually has Regenerator on, which is kind of annoying, so she survived another hit. And she's going to Water Post me, knock me out, and then I'm sending my Pikachu. I'm going to Thunder Punch, knock out the Float so and then barely really not knock out the star me using my pikachu but luckily in the back our helioptile has bullet punch which is a priority move and we beat misty with it luckily for that jesus christ anyways from here we're gonna head into vermilion city we're gonna get the lucky eggs uh in this updated rom hack we get multiple lucky eggs from bread in here which is very nice and then we're going to beat down Whitney. We get the EV light real quick. And then we're going to head into Lieutenant Surge's gym. Surge's gym, of course, going to need some tinkering. We take a lot of attempts to beat Surge. We're going to teach our Pikachu Dig. And that is actually the focal point of beating Surge. So facing off against Surge, we're going to use our Golem first. We're going to Bodo's into the Pinchuri and goes down to red HP. And then we're going to send out our Pikachu. Our Pikachu actually has Geomancy. We're going to Geomancy up. That's going to boost our special attack twice, our special defense, and our speed twice. And as well, it's going to knock me down. I have Draining Kiss to recover my HP. Then he's going to send out his Alolan and Raichu next, which I'm going to Geomancy once again right in front of it. And then I'm going to dig on his off turns because he has Truant. And I'm going to avoid any damage from the Raichu. So we completely negate the Raichu and beat it down, get some HP back, and then we're going to 1v1 his Mega Manectric, and that should be the end of Surge. So we complete the Shore Surge with our Pikachu, which is kind of nice, not going to lie. Anyways, we're going to head into Rock Tunnel. We're going to clear through this pretty nicely. As you can see, we get some nice XP as we head through this into Lavender Town and, of course, into Celadon City, where the next gym will be at. The next gym, of course, is going to be Erica's gym. Erica's gym is going to be the grass type gym of the game. And we're going to start off the battle using our Golem. So Golem is going to use Roar and we're going to try to catch something with Thunder Punch trying to paralyze it. Uh, we do not want the Sudorudu. We want to get the Meganium. We want to Roar into the Meganium to paralyze it. Once we get that thing paralyzed, though, uh, it's going to be great. We're just going to keep trying to attack it. We're going to let our Golem die. And then we're going to send in our Raichu to Geomancy up in front of it. Because it's only a special attacker and it's not going to switch out. We have Citrus Berry to gain some HP. So we could Geomancy twice in front of it. Then Draining Kiss it and then slowly knock it out. Uh, we actually flinch the Sudowoodoo accidentally twice. I thought Extra Sensory would do some more damage. But that ends up being great for us. So we beat down the Sudowoodoo. And then we're going to beat down the Rillaboom with Draining Kiss. As he tries to Drain Punch me. Uh, we're going to knock out the Superior in one shot as well. And then we're going to knock out the Meganium and the Venusaur in one shot. So that's completely done. We've beaten Erica with a monster move. I understand that I'm setting up with one Pokemon again. But it's a team effort, guys. It's a team effort. Everyone needs to be part of the team to win. So it's not just a Raichu thing. It's a whole team thing. We're going to go into the King Corner right now. And all the Pokemon in the prize section is actually different. So we have to check them all to see if any of them are Electric types. And surprise, surprise, of course they're not. So we got no, not a single new Pokemon from the game corner, which is kind of unfortunate. But it is what it is. We got to move on from there. We're going to head into Saffron City, of course. And we're going to change the ability of our Raichu into Lightning Rod. But unfortunately, it's randomized. So we get Intrepid Blade, which boosts our physical attack, which is kind of annoying because <laughs> we don't need that. Anyways, we're going to head into the Rocket Hideout in Celadon City under the game corner. And we're going to face off against Giovanni. And Giovanni's Needle King decides to destroy my team. Uh, Earth Power is actually a ground move. And we can't hurt it. 
So I decided to do something else. I decided to go back to the trusty O, go into Chuck's gym, and then, you know, get the focus sash from him. We beat Chuck, and apparently they patched this so they get a black belt instead of a focus sash, and I'm more mad. Oh my god. So what we have to do is go back into the game corner, get ourselves a uh, DTM for protect, go back into our back, teach our Helioptile protect because he has pressure as an ability. So we're going to face off against Giovanni's Needle King. We're going to protect stall all the way down his earth power. So he's going to run off PP in five turns if our Helioptile is in front of it. Um, that's going to be interesting. We're going to sack our plus of course, and then eventually once the Needle King runs out of earth power, we're able to Geomancy up in front of him. Then we finally beat Giovanni as you can see. I uh, would clutch things up with a Raichu, but jeez, that's the only way we could get around it's multiple attempts, but we finally got it done, and we beat the Rodom with a flinch, but we don't talk about that. Anyways, we're going to head into Lavender Town and go up the Lavender Tower. We're going to clear through this. No, Nothing new for us. Nothing new at all for us, except they switch out the Shadow Marowak, the Lola Marowak, for an Aurorus. So that is kind of scary. As you can see, it bodies my entire team. There's left no prisoners. Unfortunately for my Alolan Raichu, doesn't do anything at all. And my regular Raichu just gets boomerang and knocked out. So that is kind of scary. Eventually, we do get past it. We're going to head to the top. We're going to meet Mr. Fuji, of course. We're going to get the Poke Flute and then head into Self Co finally. Once we're inside Self Co, we're going to climb through it. We're going to beat everyone, grind up to get our Pokemon to the maximum level, of course. And then we're going to face off against our rival where our golem actually has sticky web. So we're going to paralyze the jump club and then sticky web down, of course, and then sack our golem to him, uh, as you can see. And then our, we're going to send our Raichu to a Geomancy in front of him. Luckily, we do get it down and then extra sensory. And this Raichu just go crazy against Gary and we beat Gary pretty easily right here. So once we beat Gary here, the Lapras guy does not give us any electric move Pokemon at all. So we're going to face off against Archer and Ariana in this doubles battle. This doubles battle is actually pretty nice. We actually beat in one try without losing any Pokemon. Heliolus actually cures everything for us. Uh, Sceptile does most of the work, but you know, we don't lose a single Pokemon. So we beat Ariana and Archer. And we're going to face off against Giovanni where we get Geomancy up. And of course, we're going to Draining Kiss against the Garchomp. Knock out the Hippowdon and knock out the Kangaskhan. Once we are done with that, we're going to actually head into the next gym in Saffron City. Of course, Saffron City is home of the Psychic Gym. And all the Pokemon here are just brazy right now. Uh, we lose to Sabrina on a few attempts. This is the closest attempt we got. Our uh, Rare Raichu just couldn't regain enough HP using Draining Kiss. So what we have to do against Sabrina is start off the battle using our Lowland Raichu and our Plusso to Thunder Wave both the opposing Pokemon and then let each of them die. Of course, that's not too bad. Uh, I'm just going to try to get some damage off. Uh, does not work, apparently. <laughs> they did not want to get any damage off. So once these two goes down, we're going to send out our Heliolisk and our Raichu. Uh, we're going to Geomancy with our Raichu and then just slowly uh, bulk down the Hatterene. Once we get a Geomancy up, we can drain and kiss up the opposing Pokemon. We send out our Golem, and then we're going to Thunder Punch to Hatterene to knock it out. We're going to survive an Expanding Force, of course, get another Geomancy up. Then we're going to finally use Draining Kiss against the Conqueror. We're going to double attack the Conqueror. Uh, we don't end up beating it because I got flinched, but that's fine. We're going to Thunder Punch it once again, and then Thunderbolt the DD to get a double knockout. Once that is done, though, he's going to send out a Crawdon and a Porygon 2, which I've never seen her have a Crawdon, but... Maybe that's new in the game. We're going to Thunder Punch it, and we're going to Draining Kiss it to uh, double attack it, of course. The Gardevoir is going to uh, bulk up Ice Beam and then not almost knock out my Golem. Luckily, it didn't. Then we double targeted the Gardevoir and knock it out. Then the Porygon 2 is just uh, formality. We beat the Porygon 2 easily using our Raichu, and we beat Sabrina. Oh, for once, we don't rely on flinches. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to head into Future City next. Future City is going to be home of the next gym. As well, we had to beat Brandon over here. Uh, Brandon's kind of a pushover. Once we get Geomancy up, Brandon's team is completely garbage, as you can see. Uh, we destroy him with a Raichu, and then we're going to head into the Safari Zone. In the Safari Zone, there's no new Pokemon for us. No Electric types at all. So, uh, we're going to get the HM for Surf and everything. And then we're going to head west of Future City and catch ourselves a Zep Striker, which will be our sixth Pokemon of the game. But not our final member. Someone's getting replaced. It's most likely the truant Pokemon that I don't ever use. And that is the most useless. But anyways. <laughs> we're going to still continue west of Future City. Trying to get more XP on our Zep Striker. Our new Pokemon of the team. And then once we're done with that. We're going to face off against Koga in his own gym. In Koga's gym he's going to be the poison type. Well he's not really poison type. But he's, he's another gym leader. Uh, we're going to try to sticky webs. And then try to sack our golem. 
and it's sending my plus so does not work so what we have to do is start off the battle against koga Thunder Punch Swallow right away, of course. Then we're gonna sack the Zeb Striker against the Greninja and then send in our plus to Thunder Wave the Greninja and then sack it once again. Uh, we're trying to encore it and then we're in Geomancy in front of him using our Raichu and then eventually we're actually gonna outstall him and then Draining Kiss, get our HP back. Thunderbolt knocks out the Drapion easily. And then next up he's gonna send us Dragpult, Draining Kiss will knock him out as well. Uh, Thunderbolt knocks out the Cell Gore to low, Extra Sensory knocks out the Toxic Tree, and of course we knock out the Cell Gore for real this time, and we beat Koga. So, fairly easy. Once we are done with that, we have all the HMs required to beat the game. So, we are going to go back all the way back to Route 1, and then we're going to clear through everything up until that point, get all the items, and nothing too new. Uh, I found a Reaper Cloth in the Pokemon Tower, that's about it as something new. It was fun to rediscover, I guess. We do some raid battles and all that, get some training done, but nothing too special. We're going to head into Seafone Island, we're going to beat Price, we still get the Choice Scarf from that, and we're going to beat Jasmine, we still get the Choice Bend from that, so nothing changes too much. We beat May. we get the Torchic, of course, and then we're going to head into the Pokemon Mansion where we're going to do some more training right before Blaine's Gym. And speaking of Blaine's Gym, we're going to head into his gym finally. After changing our natures on all my Pokemon, took took about 6 gyms to finally do it, but you know, uh, we, we got to change our natures on our Pokemon, and that is actually going to come in handy as we head into Blaine's Gym next. Uh, we're going to start off the battle using our Heliolisk, and then we're going to protect it from the Torkoal to get it explode on us, which is fine. Then we're going to switch into our Golem, and then we're going to protect using our Golem to get a double protect to get knocked out to Cinderance, of course. And then he's going to send out his Typhlosion, uh, we're going to sack our poor Golem to it, which is fine. Then we're going to send out our Raichu, get it paralyzed, and then Geomancy up. And then he's going to try to flamethrower all that nonsense. We're going to survive an eruption, and then we're going to surf him down. And then we're actually beat his Venusaur using the extra sensory. Then he's going to send out his Typhlosion again for no reason. Surf knocks him out. Surf almost knocks out the Bokorona, but then I'm sending my Zep Striker. He's going to knock him out using Bulk Strike. Uh, Charizard comes out, he's going to knock out my Zep Striker. But I have a Healer List in the back. Thunderbolt does not knock him out, but luckily, Plusso in the back survives a hit. And we beat in the Charizard. From there though, we are going to be heading into uh, the Cerulean Cave where Brendan needs us at the moment. So we're going to catch ourselves a Lantern, which surprisingly is the next Pokemon that's available to us. We don't have too many options, so we're not being picky. Lantern's actually the next option and the only option so far we can have. So we catch ourselves a Lantern and we're going to train up in Cerulean Cave, of course. Uh, get ourselves to the maximum level, which is about 79. Uh, once we do that, we're going to face against Archer and Ariana. As you can see, my Golem goes crazy against him. We knock out a Durant, and then, of course, the Houndoom gets outplayed by my Zub Striker, as in he just destroys him and flinch him. All the skill in the world, and we beat an Archer, so the next up will be Ariana. We just got a Geomancy up in front of uh, the Mawile. We put it to sleep using our Lantern, of course, and then we knock it out using Surf for some reason and not Thunderbolt. Then we finally done about the Hans Crow, but <laughs> it almost knocked me out. But luckily we beat Ariana and Archer pretty easily. And then finally we're going to teach Raichu Focus Blast as we head into the battle against Giovanni. And we're going to be in a double battle with Lance against Giovanni. And we're going to Geomancy on the first turn as they both knock out the Dragapult on Lance's side. So we're going to Focus Blast knock out the Scrafty. So for some reason, Dialga can't knock out the Tapu Lily. I guess they changed that. So... I got a Thunderbolt, knock out the Mewtwo, just barely not knock him out. I survive a Moonblast, and then I'm able to knock him out with a following one. And then he's going to Earthquake knock me out for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with Lance. But then I'm going to send him my Lantern. I'm going to knock out the Celesteela, of course. And then the Salamence will knock me out again, and then knock out the Extra Joe. And then that should be fine. I hope he could take care of himself. I'm going to Thunder Punch, try to knock out the Tyrantar as Lance is doing nothing. Of course, he's going to be annoying and just keep roosting as I finish off the battle using my Golem. And we finally beat Giovanni. After that, of course, we're going to head into the next gym of the game. The final gym of the game, which is going to be against Claire. Claire is going to be the 8th gym of the game, which is interesting. They change up the, the gym where it's just a straightforward path instead of a giant maze, <laughs> a giant empty square. Anyways, we're going to face against Claire. She's going to start out with an Aerodactyl. She's going to use Taunt with me. I'm going to Dunbolt and then Paralyze her and then put her down easily using our Raichu. Except she's going to send out her Magnera out. Uh, yes, I said Maganera. He crucified me in the comments. Anyways, we're going to sack our Zep Striker to the Fleur Cannon and then sack our Plusso into the Fleur Cannon as well. We get it paralyzed and that should be all great as it doesn't really do too much with a Fleur Cannon. So we're going to Geomancy up in front of him, get the special defense boost, 
and then I don't have any draining kills at the moment so I can't really do too much so I can't recover my HP of course so we're gonna knock out the Magnera using Thunbolt knock out the Dragovish easily knock out the Dragonite in one shot surprisingly because it's um, randomized ability of course extra sensory knocks out the Naga Nidel and then we're gonna focus blast one shot Duraludon in the face and we beat in Claire, which is kind of interesting, kind of interesting. Anyways, we're going to head into the battle against Gary, and all we got to do is get the Hattering Paralyze, and then Encore it into Call Mine, and we're going to knock it out using Geomancy. Once we knock out the, the Hattering, of course, we knock out the Katarna, and then we knock out the Barbarico, and of course, knock out the Mega Charizard X in one shot, and the Electivire in the back, and we beat in <laughs> Gary easily. Next up, this is an interesting battle against Brennan. Brennan's team is actually completely different. He sends out Deoxys first, which is cool. So I'm going to sack one of my Pokemon to his superpower, of course. Kind of annoying. Psycho Boost as well. We're going to try to lower his attack stat, special attack, and physical attack. And then we're going to finally paralyze him as I live another superpower against him. Then I'm going to try to Encore into superpower. Uh, then he's getting extreme speed, which is fine. Finally, I can send in my Raichu to Geomancy up in front of him. And things can get paralyzed, which is great. I survive. <laughs> I survive a psycho boost that easily. And then I get two geomancies up, and I don't want to risk it, so I decide to attack him. Oh, I don't. I don't. I decide to be a, a goofy, and then I decide to be risk it all, and then geomancy once more for what reason? Anyways, I got lucky with that, and then I thunderbolt. Hopefully, hopefully, because I have no more boost. I have nothing. Okay, I do. Thunderbolt and knock out Deoxys, which is great. Uh, then it's gonna send out his Jirachi. I knock that thing out. Luckily. Luckily, I knocked that thing out. <laughs> then he's gonna send out his Landers. I actually flinch it, which is kind of interesting. Then I two shot it, knock it out. He's gonna send out a Sceptile next. Well, that thing is gonna get body in one shot, of course. Then he's gonna send out his Zapdos. Thunderbolt goes down to him. And then he's gonna send out his Huntail for some reason. I guess he has Cell Smash. But it goes down, and we beat Brendan. Barely easily. Then we're finally clear against a victory road. We clear that entirely. We got our Pokemon up to level 85, of course. We use our rare candies on all our Pokemon. We get Raichu up to level 88, because of course he's going to be the star player, and we got to treat our star player with some respect. Finally, we're going to face off against the Elite Four after doing some training and getting our Pokemon to what they need, of course, and then face off against Lorelei. Lorelei is going to have either the Water Team or the Ice Team. Uh, luckily, we have the Water Team, and our strategy is to double paralyze using our Lantern and our Zep Striker to paralyze the Polytoad and then put to sleep the Ludicolo. Once that thing's done, I'm going to Geomancy and then continuously Rock Slide and hopefully flinch down the Polytoad. Uh, I get three Geomancies up, which is great. But this is the dumbest part. I get three Geomancies up, so I'm fully, fully boosted up. Then I knock out the Ludicolo. He's going to send out a Swampert. I don't knock out the Swampert in one shot. But luckily, I flinch it using Rock Slide. So, okay, I'm just Rock Slide spamming. But uh, I, for some reason, I don't knock it out using Focus Blast at plus six. Plus six. Anyways, Thunderbolt will knock out the Dragovich. And then Rock Slide will actually knock out the Swampert, which is kind of odd. I don't know how he survived a plus six, but he could not survive a Rock Slide. Anyways. Uh, he can set out his Kyogre and his Kingdra next. Thunderbolt knocks out the Kyogre in one shot. And we're going to uh, double attack the Kingdra to knock it out as well. And we beat in Lorelei with some confusion, of course. I don't know what's going on. But we're going to face off against Bruno next. Bruno's going to start with an Infernape. I'm going to trade webs for his rocks and then Thunder Punch him. Don't knock him out, which is unfortunate. He's going to knock me out. Then the Zepchak is going to come out. He's going to knock out the Infernape, of course. Then he's going to send out his Como. I'm trying to get a Paralyze against him. Does not get it against the Bow Strike. Then I'm going to Geomancy in front of him. Uh, lucky he clangers Soul Blades in front of me. So we both waste a turn like that. Then he's actually going to Aura Spear me. Then he's going to swap out into Zacian as a Thunderbolt. Two shot Thunderbolts knock him out. Then he's going to send out his Lucario. I Thunderbolt knock him out. Survive the Bullet Punch. And then I'm able to Paralyze and then Draining Kiss down the Conqueror. I just outstall his Drain Punch as you can see. And then eventually knock him out. And then outspeed one shot to Shifu in the face. And then of course knock out the Komo, which is the last member standing. And we beat Bruno. Whew, that was a lot to take in. Anyways, we're going to face off against... I get the next. We're gonna sticky web right in front of the Zoro. He tries to dark post me and knock me out. I get it paralyzed, but he's gonna knock out my Alolan Golem, which is fine. Send him my Raichu next. Geomancy in front of the Marshadow, which is kind of scary. He's gonna bulk up. Extra sensory luckily flinches. You don't know how many t attempts this took uh, <laughs> to get this flinch on the extra sensory. Uh, but we restart a few times for that, and then we finally knock out the Marshadow. We're gonna draining kiss. Does not knock out the Sil Valley. As I send him my Zep Striker next, Bow Strike will knock him out. I'm going to both strike the Aegis Slash as it tries to toxic me. 
and then I knock it out using a bow strike once again. I have a choice band on, so I can't switch moves, which is kind of unfortunate, as you can see. So I got to swap out into my Heliolus, take the Dark Post, that's fine. Uh, Thunderbolt the Spec Tree right over here. He's going to knock me out in return, but luckily my Lantern is in the back. I'm going to try to Thunder Wave uh, the Spec Tree, but <laughs> he barely does it. I have a Choice Scarf on Plus just to get uh, Thunder Waves off, but I'm going to Dark Hole and then barely not knock out the Spec Tree, as another one will. And then I'm able to Skull, knock out the Zoroark, and then a Dark Hole will knock out the Gengar. Just about put him to sleep and then two shots him. So that should be it for the Gengar and Agatha. So we've beaten Agatha. Right, now we're going to face off against Lance. Lance is going to be a, a, a annoying battle, I gotta say. I'm going to Sticky Web right in front of the Aerodactyl as I sack my Golem. Can't really do too much against him. So it is what it is. I'm going to send in my plus one next because he has a choice scarf on. He's going to outspeed the Aerodactyl for me. I'm going to zigzag, get the flinch off, and then scare him off as he sends out his Dragovich. His Dragovich is going to obviously uh, outrage against me, so I'm going to sack my Lantern, which is unfortunate. I'm trying to get the Skull off, trying to get Burn off. Does not work. I send in my plus one to get the Thunder Wave off, and then he's going to knock me out in return. I'm going to sack out my Raichu. I'm going to try to Geomancy, he's going to hit me in the face with an Outrage. I'm able to Draining Kiss, get my HP back though, which is fine. Then I'm going to Thunderbolt Crit the Dragonite, which is great. And then Melmetal comes out next. I'm going to send in my Heliolus, and then he's going to Double Iron Bash me. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Thunderbolt does not do too much against him. So, luckily, I have my Zelf Striker in the back. I have Choice Band on it, and a Bow Strike Choice Banded Crit will knock out the Melmetal, which is kind of funny. Then we're going to Bow Strike the Primal Dialga, of course, and then get a Paralyze on it. Once that is done, our unfortunately Roar Time does a lot of damage to me and we get roared out. And then we have to swap back into our Zep Striker to do some more damage. It's gonna knock me out using Flamethrower, so I'm able to send in my Raichu. I'm able to Geomancy up in front of him. Uh, he's gonna use Rest, which is fine. I get Geomancy off. He does a chunky amount with Roar Time. Jeez. Then he's gonna get another Roar Time, and I'm just hoping he doesn't do any more damage. So I'm gonna try to Jiren Kiss as he Roar Times me again. Eventually, he has to run out of PP, that's what I'm hoping for, and I think he does because he never used it again, and I'm able to regain HP using Draining Kiss against him, get uh, the last Geomancy up, of course, and then I'm able to knock out the Dialga and get my HP back against him, which is great. Next up, oh, we're going to face off against the champion of the game. The champion of the game is quite annoying. So, we're going to start off the battle using our plus up. We're going to restart until we're able to flinch down the Firmosa. Once we're able to knock out the Firmosa using uh, Zigzag on our plus up, which is only a three hit move, so we only need two flinches. So that's fine. Uh, then he's going to send out his Groudon next. His Groudon is going to scare me out. I'm going to sack my Heliolus. Then use our Lantern to knock out the Groudon. Then he's going to send out his Darmanitan. I'm going to take a hit. Then Dark Hole and put him to sleep. And then Thunder will knock him out. Great for us because he can send out his Metagross next. He can, I'm going to sack my Lantern against him to the Bullet Punch. Send in my Alone Golem against him. Then I'm going to Thunder Punch. Paralyze him luckily. Get another one off. And then I prioritize getting Sticky Webs off. As he's eventually going to knock me out. Which is fine. Then I'm able to send in my Raichu to obviously knock him out using Thunderbolt. Luckily he just Bullet Punches me. Then he can send out his Yuvato next. Yuvato is going to almost knock out my Plusso as I switch into him. And then Thunder Wave him obviously. He's going to try to sucker punch me, does not work for a little bit, waste his PP, and then send in my Raichu against him. I'm going to Geomancy up in front of him as he's letting me to, so Darko is going to put me to sleep. I'm able to wake up Geomancy in front of him once again for no reason. He's going to, I'm going to dodge his heat wave, and then I'm able to get the Geomancy, and then using Draining Kiss, I get my HP back once again. Oblivion Wing does not knock me out ever again, and then I'm able to 1v1 the Yuvalto. And then he's going to send out his Eternatus next. I'm able to one-shot the Eternatus, and we've beaten Gary. And we've beaten the entire game of Pokemon Radical Red. Finally. Finally. That took a long time. Way longer than normal Radical Red runs, which is interesting. Uh, I gotta say, the new updates. I want to play through this game one more time. Maybe ten more times on my channel. But this new update is very intriguing to me, I gotta say. I want to see other challenges done on it, so... I might gotta come back to Radical Red, as always I do. Uh, but I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below some challenge ideas just like this one. Especially on Radical Red, I'll be back for this as well. And I hope you guys all love this randomized, randomized monotype. Uh, extreme randomized, randomized nuts. Extreme randomized, randomized monotype. Something like that. The title is gonna be interesting. I gotta think of a title for this video. But anyway.
But anyways, thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, it really means a lot to me. I hope you guys all had a great day. I'm out. Peace.